beer breweries and micro breweries are popping up more and more as time goes on. And with this increased demand for awesome craft beer comes the demand for awesome design to market it as well. So today I'm going to show you how to make a beer can label using Kittle. We'll go over setting up the general artboard size for a can label and then making sure we have the right components in place so that your label stands off on the shelf. Now if you're new to Kittle go ahead and sign up using that link down in the description. It's completely free. You don't need any credit card or personal information to use Kittle. And go ahead and hit that red subscribe button so that you don't miss any of the upcoming tutorials that will be launched here on the channel. Now let's get started. So here's the information that will be on the front of our beer can label. We're just gonna be focused on the front today. So our artboard size is going to be four by five, which is roughly about half of what a label size is when you're thinking about a can design, that rounded can design. And again, we're just worried on the front. So if we hit W, we can go into trim view, we can drag this text over and then start playing with a layout. If you hit T, that's a quick command to add text. So I'm gonna add the word bear. Now we're gonna pick a different font and we're gonna do something that's a little bit more in line with what a beer can label might look like. This is a really beautiful slab serif called HT Modern Slab and it's rustic enough, but still modern enough to fit beer brands today. It looks very, very similar, and it's going to be great for this pale ale label that we're making. So we'll do bear on the top, and then we'll do brew down below. And then we're going to do some slight tweaking to make sure that these text sizes are about the same. So we're just increasing the letter spacing here on the top to make sure that those two are aligned together. And then what we'll do is we'll copy this text. You can hold alt or option and drag, and then we'll type pale ale, and we're going to make this considerably smaller because it's subtext here and then what we'll do after that is we'll find a different uh, complementing font and so what we're going to do is use the modern hand sans ht modern hand sans and it looks like it still is part of this design which is really nice but it's different enough to be complementary which is which is what we want here so we can make it just a little bit wider i think and it's a variable font which is amazing you can just use this slider and it it, it increases the width there for you then we might want to make it just a little bit bigger it's a little bit small here so we're just going to do some minor tweaking to get it exactly how we want it and we're going to eventually put this in a badge so we want this to be nice and framed here in the middle so I'm already starting to think about color here. So we're gonna go with a pale ale as you can see here. So I'm drawing some color from more pale style colors. And I want to go with a kind of neon green, pastel green, dark blue combo, I think. So I think this is working nice for a base. It's kind of this lighter, this lighter green here. So let's go ahead and frame our text. So we're gonna put this in a badge style frame the bear brew pale ale and that's also a very common thing that you'll see on a beer can label and we have so many badges I like this one and, and then we need to send it to the back so we'll size it up right click and we'll send it to the back and we'll make sure that it's framed correctly so the text is in the middle and then we can grab this uh, then we can grab this turning handle here and we'll turn it around and so now it looks like it's molded into that stamp that logo there on the top that I've imported as part of this label design and so now we just have some minor tweaking to do with color we want to make sure that it's a similar color and we're gonna pick some complementary colors again to go in line with our pale color scheme for this more hoppy brighter beer so we're gonna change these colors to be more in line just a little bit of tweaking there's that dark blue that I mentioned earlier and now now we're gonna make this text that darker kind of off navyish pastel blue as well and that's looking really nice and so we need to change the logo color here and again you could you could upload your own SVG logo here uh, for whatever beer company that you're using and then you can tweak the colors here to be more in line so now we're gonna go start playing with the neon so if I pick one of these neon greens I can already imagine how cool this might look on that aluminum kind of foily looking effect and that might be really cool and stand out on the shelf a lot easier 
than something that's maybe dull or dark or, or, or too busy or something like that. So that's looking like it's going to work. So let's go back and now we're going to start looking for these mountains. So I can just type that up here in the search bar and look at how many different mountains come up. It's pretty amazing. We can find one that works well for us. Some of these might be a little bit too detailed. We don't want to go too insane, too detailed, but I think these will work. There's two colors. Oops, I accidentally added another one. It's okay. We'll get rid of that one in a second. We're going to size this up exactly how we need to. Again, we'll change the color to that more neon color. Yeah, and that's looking pretty cool. So then we'll change the fade to that other pastel green so that it blends into the background like this. Then we'll right click and we will send it to the back so it's behind that badge there. Again, we're gonna add a couple more of these so if it doesn't look like much at the moment, that's okay. Just bear with me for a moment. So we'll add another one and we're basically gonna duplicate this process. We'll make it green, we'll slide it over, put it in the back. All right, so once that's how we like it, we can start adding some other elements. So I'm gonna add some clouds to the top here. So I want some clouds to be above these mountains as a very outdoorsy style logo label style that we've got going on here with the bear brew bears live in the mountains so we're going to add a couple of different clouds and then do some tweaking so obviously we need these to be behind the label here and they don't need to be so large but i definitely want to make them look like they're kind of coming out of the side of the label here and then maybe we can add some of these different clouds that are a little bit different shape so now we need to figure out how to frame our minor text that needs to be on on the label so the alcohol volume the fluid ounces things like that things that you're always gonna see on a beer can or some other kind of liquid label so what I think might be cool is if we frame the bottom of this label with trees so if we type in trees we can start tweaking with this and make kind of a skyline of trees down below where we can frame this text so I'll bring this tree down here do a little bit of resizing and then I'm going to change that to a dark blue that's the same blue as that the text and the badge there is and then what I'll do is start a frame here so if I go over to shapes and I just drag in this box here I can just put it here below and drag it across and then I can make it that same blue color to make it look like these trees are going to blend in it's a little bit of a trick here um, that you can do easily with many different elements so then all we have to do is start adding a couple of different types of trees we don't want all of the trees to be identical because that's not really representative of a true forest so we'll get these trees in and make our own skyline here hey real quick if you're getting value out of this beer label tutorial let me know by hitting that thumbs up button button and the red subscribe button. Then let me know in the comments, what is your favorite preferred type of beer? I like darker beers. I like a, a red ale or a lager, even a porter, especially when it's cold. But I'd like to know, it's very interesting. What is your favorite type of beer? So let me know in the comments. And then we can bring over our text over here. So we can drag this over. And of course, we're gonna need to bring this to the front. And so what we can do is just drag this all the way up to the front. You can scroll and make sure that it's placed on top there. And then of course, we need it to be a different color. So let's change it to that more pastel green, that really, really light pale green. And then we will change the way that it's positioned. I think just, just horizontal like this is fine. And then we're going to choose that same slab serif to make sure that it fits with the rest of this label here. So that's looking pretty good. We need to do a little bit of tweaking just to make sure that it's filling out this label correctly. And then we're going to divide this label by double clicking in here. And then what we'll do is add a space and go to the glyphs panel. Now, if we scroll down in here, what we'll do is we'll find a dot that goes right in the middle of the text. So if we click this dot, you can see, boom, it's added kind of this little divider dot, which is in the middle, which is really nice. It can be part of the text. You don't have to add a circle after the fact or anything like that. So we'll do a little bit of minor tweaking. Now I'm going to add some hatched clouds in here to give it a little bit more of effect. I like those hatched clouds there. And then what we're going to do is start tweaking and playing with a little bit of filler for our badge here. So I'm going to add a couple of lines here. So I'll just add this box. I'll make this box really, really thin thin, basically just creating a line, and then I'll make it smaller, and then I'll size it to the left, so that way it divides this text and makes it stand out just a little bit more. Then we can duplicate this line by holding the Alter Option key and dragging, and then, of course, you could also do 
Command-C, Command-V for copy and paste. And then we'll tweak this to make sure that it's exactly how we want it in the middle of the badge. So then what might be nice is something down there on the bottom. So if I type in bear, then I can find everything that comes up under bear illustration. And I think this paw mark here, this kind of claw paw mark here, is going to be cool as a small symbol at the bottom of this label design, this little badge label design that we have going. So I will make that the same neon green and do a little bit of tweaking to make sure that it's in the middle and it's exactly how I want it. What you'll commonly see is some filler text on the left and right. So we'll hit T to add some text and then we're gonna type premium and that's gonna go on the left and then we'll do quality on the right. So let's size this down and then we will add a script font that's in the same style. So there's this adventure style that we have that perfectly goes with outdoor themes for any kind of logo or label. So that's looking really nice. We'll capitalize the P there. We'll size this down and it just it adds a little bit of an effect. You'll commonly see this on label designs with uh, endearing words about the beer. And of course, we want to have premium quality, so that's an easy one to do. So we'll put premium here on the left and then we will duplicate that text, bring it to the right and type in quality to be on the right. So now what we'll do is just a little bit of tweaking to make sure that everything is aligned properly and the spacing is looking right. And we're going to add a little bit of line shadow to our bare brew. And I'm going to make it the neon color and I'm going to keep it at that 90 degree angle and just increase it just a little bit to give it a little bit more excitement just a little bit more depth to the text here especially with that kind of aluminum can style it's going to reflect really nicely and look really pretty so we'll make this the same thing we'll make the brew line shadow the green and then we will increase the offset to about the same place and that's just going to give it a little bit more depth so now I'll tweak the blue to be a little bit more in line with the rest of the screen so that they complement each other a little bit better. And then last but not least, we're going to add a texture to this design. And I think a grunge texture will really help cut through this outdoorsy effect. So I'll click through a couple of these and you can go through on your own and click through different ones and go through different multiply settings and go through go through different blend settings and then change the opacity to be how you want it. Um, I think one of these is going to fit really well. And then what we can do is just bring the slider down so that it's not so stark, not so fake necessarily, but more baked into the design like this. And I'm thinking that that's going to work pretty nicely on the can. And now that we have the initial label design made here, I want to show you how easy it is to adapt it to different beer styles. So if we typed in dark lager here instead of a pale ale, then we can go over to our variable setting, make that a little bit smaller, then we'll adjust our lines here to be uh, a little bit smaller. They're a little bit too close to lager and to the word dark. So we'll make this one a little bit smaller, duplicate that just the same as we did for the pale ale. And we'll make sure that these are aligned the right way. And then all we have to do is change our color to be more of that dark lager style. So we can adjust it and there we go. Now here is our original pale ale beer label design fully mocked up on a can so that you can see what it would look like as you see it on the shelf or in a brewery. So now it's time for you to go and make your own beer can label. Maybe you have a client that needs a label done, or maybe you have opened your own little brewery or beer brand. Either way, Kittle is ready to get the job done. Be sure to check out the other tutorials we have here on the channel. We have so many, and I have compiled a playlist right here you can click on and see any of our tutorials. Before you go, do me a favor and hit that red subscribe button if you haven't done so already. That's just a way for you to know the next time you visit YouTube if we've uploaded a new video, and I don't want you to miss anything that's coming up. Thanks so much for watching and for using Kittle. Until next time, create magic.